robots. Are they here to stay? We go head to head with Nathan Bateman, lead project manager at Boston Dynamics to find out. So Nathan, once again, Boston Dynamics breaking new ground with their latest robot, Handel. Tell me Nathan, why the name Handel? Uh, it's interesting, we actually had a list of possible names before we eventually settled on Handel. There was uh, Door, for instance, Skillet was another one. Uh, oh, Nightmare Horse. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. How about simply Nightmare? Oh, right. Mare, horse. Yeah, it's, yes, that's, yes. that's pretty good. <laughs> if we were going for a horror angle, uh, which we most definitely are not. The feedback seems to be more positive than you received on your last robot, Atlas. How is Atlas? Atlas, he's doing really well. He just, uh, it is doing really well, not he. We actually introduced some control experiments with Atlas that didn't end up going over so well. It turns out that robots are way less tolerant of emotional manipulation than humans are. So this resulted in a little bit of tension between Atlas and one of our engineers, Dan. Uh, we fortunately were able to defuse the situation before it, it got a little out of hand. But we all knew the risks going into a project like this and we accept them. Hmm. We decided to move away from humanoid designs. We found that people resonate more with headless animals than they do with faceless carbon fiber men. Indeed. What separates Handel from our other sentient robots is that we put a real horse brain inside the robot chassis to run the whole system. We were really excited because we had no idea what was going to happen when we flipped the switch. You know, whether the brain would accept its new body or even notice a difference. But uh, it turns out that it was more interested in just frolicking in a very horse-like manner. And it seemed to really enjoy its dramatically increased strength, speed, and agility. Uh, you should actually see what happened the first time we played music for it. You know, Nathan, I believe we have footage of that. Oh, let's take a look. He really loves that crazy song. Absolutely. It is rather catchy. We've also observed that he likes the ability to remain in a reared stance, which gives him the ability to continuously assert his dominance over any surrounding males. It's really something. Wow, that's quite a leap he has there. Oh yeah, that's actually when he got away from us. What do you mean by got away? Uh, I mean that he's gone. He's currently missing and we are doing everything in our power to bring him home safely and as quickly as possible. Uh, in fact, if anyone watching at home happens to see him, please call us right away. Do not attempt to approach him. Uh, also, do not attempt to ride him or otherwise tame him in any way. Uh, Handel is peaceful at heart, but he startles easily and he's not aware of his own strength. And uh, there is a 97.8% chance that he will destroy you. Right, good to know. Would you say that you have a handle on the situation? No. Well, there it is. Thank you once again for joining us, Nathan. Thanks, Simon. Coming up next, are wet wipes really flushable? We head to a local Sainsbury's to find out. God, we're in deep 